to be styling swimsuits into outfits. <laughs> If you're coming back to my channel and if you are here for the first time click the subscribe button down below today we have another fashion video and I honestly like I love making these like fashion videos not that I even know what I'm doing today we are working with Cupshe again I just worked with them a couple of months ago ish maybe around there. Well, Cupshe actually reached out to me for an outfit challenge for the month of April where I turn swimsuits into outfits and like kind of style them into spring outfits. So yeah, I'm going to be styling swimsuits into outfits. Let's get started. So this is swimsuit number one. It is a one piece and because it is a one piece I thought it would be a really cute like bodysuit type of thing. So we have this pink one piece. I think it's super cute. It's got ruffles on the sleeves and it's pink which is my favorite color. Like you all know how much I love pink. I love the color and I love the style of it so I thought it would make a really cute bodysuit. So let's go see how I style swimsuit number one. I think it is absolutely so fun. I already described it to you. It's very cute. It's very pink, very feminine. It's got the cute open back. And then I decided to style it with these really cute jeans from Target. And it also matches the swimsuit because it's got the cute little pink stripes going along the side of the pants. Of course, I have to style it with a bag because if I don't have a bag, like, who am I? Tall people props. <laughs> I decided to style it with this very cute bag that I got from Marshalls. And it is like a woven, you know, type of bag. Then I decided to pair it with these cheetah sunglasses that I got from Target. That's what they look like. I think this outfit is very fun, very girly, very cute. Definitely, I think, my favorite one that I paired. And let's get on to swimsuit number two. So this is the second swimsuit. It is absolutely adorable. As you guys may know, I love this, like, bandeau cut with, like, the little ruffles. I think it's so cute. I wear this style of clothing, like, a lot in the summertime so I'm really happy that they have it in a swimsuit and it's pink like come on now it's my favorite color it's got like little flowers on it which I love I love pink I love flowers and I love this style top I guess if you want to get a tan you can kind of tuck the straps in a little bit and tan without the straps how genius I'm really out here with mind-blowing ideas like ideas you've never heard of this is the bottoms. These are not high-waisted, which I definitely love my high-waisted bottoms. The other thing about Cupshe is they don't just have swimsuits. They actually have some, like, dresses and cover-ups and that kind of stuff, which is pretty fun. So I picked out this cover-up, and I'm going to pair it with this swimsuit. This is the cover-up. It is absolutely adorable. It is sheer and white, and it's got, like, short sleeves. It's got a tie to tie it all cute. And it also has, like, a very pretty floral pattern. This kind of, like, reminds me of, like, wedding shenanigans, but, like down for that. So yeah, let's go see how I style swimsuit number two along with the cover-up. Yeah. What am I doing? This is a video for teenagers and adults, not babies. <laughs> wow, my hair looks dark. This is outfit number two. Obviously we have the like floral bandeau type of top along with these shorts that I got from Forever 21. And then of course we have the cover up from Cupshe. Look at how cute, 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 cute. We also paired it with this bag from Forever 21 as well as these earrings from Princess Polly. This is definitely more like beach casual, you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't necessarily wear this to go shopping or anything, but like I feel like, you know, if you want to hang out at the beach, you know, it works. Swimsuit number three is another pink one. <laughs> this one is actually a mix and match one, so it doesn't come with matching bottoms. This is swimsuit number three. It is like a hot pink. I feel like me being pale, vibrant colors kind of work better, you know? And it's also ribbed, which I love ribbed things. Like, literally 90% of what I wear is ribbed. It's also low cut, which, you know, don't be wearing this to the wave pool because... Me being the clumsy self I am, I already fall at the weight pool. Imagine. Let's go see how I style swimsuit number three. Of course, 
we have the top, we have these gingham shorts from Forever 21, and we also have this fanny pack that I got from Ariana Grande's last tour, the Sweetener World Tour. This is actually my only fanny pack, which is kind of weird because, like, I love fanny packs. I should really buy another one, you know? Hmm. This one is definitely more of like a beach outfit like if you're gonna stay at the beach with your friends you know play some volleyball which i can't do because i'm the worst volleyball player in the history of volleyball players <laughs> definitely not like walking around town like this who walks like that so then this is the back of the outfits you could also like get a sheer top and like tie it but like i just don't have a sheer top that will give you a little bit more coverage if you don't want to walk out like this because this is a spring challenge and not every climate is hot in the spring i also do have a pants look with this outfit so uh let's show you that this is the pants option. I definitely feel very Barbie once again just because of the pink. These pants match the shorts because they are gingham um, and they are from Urban Outfitters. If it is colder, this is definitely an option. I feel very 80s with this look because of the bright colors and I have the fanny pack. Was that the 80s? I don't really know. So this is another option if you live in a cooler climate like myself. Fun! <laughs> this is the last swimsuit I will be showing you guys for this video. And this one is a little bit different than the other ones because it is not so feminine. Like, it's still pretty feminine, but like, the coloring. You'll see what I mean. You'll see. So this is swimsuit number four. It is very vibrant. It is orange, which like, normally, like, I'm not very like, orange, orange, you know? orange person mostly i wear orange in the fall you know like the pretty fall type of orange but i actually really like this vibrant orange i think it is so different and it's so fun kind of reminds me of like a basketball but like a more fun basketball i don't even know what i'm saying so basically this is the top it is absolutely adorable it is so vibrant which hopefully will look good with my pale skin these are the bottoms they are also floral and they match the top with the tan Hopefully I get tan. I feel like this color would be very pretty with a tan. <laughs> Let's go see how I style swimsuit number four. <laughs> this is outfit number four. This outfit is definitely like retro, if you would say. This outfit I definitely think is very fun. When I put it together, I was like, I don't know, like that's not something I would wear. But then I put it together and it's fun. So we paired the orange top with these jeans from Urban Outfitters. They are the brand BDG. And then we also have this bag from, not Urban Outfitters. Hmm. Does this look like you would find this in Urban Outfitters? No. So then we also have this bag from Target that I got many years ago and I felt like the blue tied together with the top very well and it also makes the outfit a little bit more girly with a bow because I am girly so we're incorporating that into this look a little more. Then we just have these earrings from H&M. I think they're very fun. They're very gold. They tie in with the bow and yeah. So this is outfit number four and let me know what you think in the comments down below. It's outro time. Okay guys, so that was all for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. I certainly enjoyed making this video. Like honestly, thank you so much Cupshe for sending me these swimsuits slash the cover up. I really appreciate it. As you guys know, I would never promote something I don't really believe in. I have worn their stuff for years before they even reach out to me. So I really appreciate them actually taking the time to send me things. For this video, I originally wanted to go like to the beach and have a cute picnic and go downtown a little bit. Ooh, I feel like this one would have been like a cute look for like a retro like arcade photo shoot. <laughs> but yeah, I was gonna go do fun things like that, go to the picnic, blah blah blah, but with the quarantine, obviously I'm stuck in my house. So I hope you guys still enjoyed this video. I was gonna make it a lot more fun, but considering the circumstances, it's probably best I did not do that. Probably best. Oh, my hair's sticking up. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to fix my hair and I just made it worse. We're just gonna leave it. We're gonna leave it. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and leave a comment down below letting me know which swimsuit you like the best and which outfit you like the best. Also, be sure to click that subscribe button down below to join this amazing family. We have a lot of fun here and you know, we're getting closer to the back to school season with my crazy mom and I'm going to college. So there's gonna be a lot more videos with my crazy mom this summer. I hope you guys enjoyed. I love you all so much. And I will hopefully, 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 hopefully. <laughs> I thought that'd be way cooler than it was. See you guys in my next video. Bye. <laughs>
Cupshe swimsuits. Thanks, Cupshe. Mwah, chef's kiss. Chef's kiss. That was not a chef's kiss. My legs are very dry. I hope you can't tell. Ooh.